Hello, everyone. This is Carla with Needy Meds. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to for joining us for today's special topic presentation presented by our partners, Rx Outreach. We do plan on getting today's presentation started on time. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and make sure we've got everything up and running. If you wouldn't mind helping me out, please go ahead and send me a message in either the chat or questions or Q&A section so that I know you can hear me and see my screen clearly. Thanks so much. And we'll also ask our, let's see if my friend and colleague is joining us who will be doing today's presentation. So, oh, hi, Bill. Great. And Bill, give us a shout out to make sure we could hear you as well. Yes. Good morning or good afternoon <laughs> almost. Perfection. Okay, thanks everybody. Just stand by and we will get started momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and, and shut my video off as well. But thanks for joining us and we'll get started in just a little bit. Hello, everyone. Thanks again for being here and welcome to today's presentation. My name is Carla. I am the Director of Education Initiatives at MediMeds. And before we dive into Rx Outreach's presentation, Making Medication Affordable, I'll do as I always do in the beginning our, of our webinars, which is just to offer some tips so you can make the most out of it. First of all, if you do have questions, we encourage you to ask them anytime by typing them into either the Q&A or chat section of your Zoom control panel. Just know we will reserve answering questions until the end. We tend to keep the question segment brief. So if you ask a question and we don't get the chance to answer it, we will follow up with you by email as soon as we can. But if you need an immediate response, of course, we will provide the contact information for both Rx Outreach and Needy Meds at the end. So just a couple of words about Needy Meds before we dive into today's presentation for those of you not yet familiar with us. Needy Meds is a national nonprofit founded about 25 years ago. And what you're looking at on the screen is our mission statement. But simply put, Needy Meds connects people free and anonymously to healthcare education and savings resources. And you could reach out to Needy Meds get help and find out more about those resources by visiting our website, needymeds.org, or reaching out to one of our expert call center counselors, 1-800-503-6897. And as I said, don't worry, we will put up the contact information at the end of the presentation, but of course, the Needy Meds 1-800 toll-free helpline is also on our website, needymeds.org. It's on the top right hand corner. So let's dive into today's presentation, Rx Outreach, Making Medications Affordable. And Rx Outreach, um, just so you know, guys, um, one thing I will mention now, I usually at this point take my video off because I have to cheat and look down at notes, um, but I'm still here, so you'll hear me, but don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted you to know I'm still here, so bear with me one moment while I try try and do that if I can. Um, let's see. That's much better. Now I can cheat and look at my notes. Um, but again, 
Thank you for being here. And MediaMed's partner at RX Outreach is here to present a presentation all about making medications affordable. And as you saw really quickly on the slide that had the MediaMed's mission statement, a big, a really big part of our mission is educating people. And of course, we define that by educating people about needy meds and the healthcare cost savings and educational resources we offer. But we also fulfill that part of our education mission by sharing with our users other resources that will also help them save on their healthcare expense expenses and assist them in their healthcare journeys which is why we are so pleased to have RX Outreach here. And my friend and colleague, Bill Vaderat is going to do today's presentation. Bill is the Director of Marketing and Programs at RX Outreach. So let me tell you a little bit about RX Outreach. They are actually the nation's largest nonprofit, fully licensed digital pharmacy. RX Outreach offers nearly 1,000 medication strengths, so for over 60 health conditions at discounted price prices. Mission to create a nation with equitable health outcomes, RX Outreach partners with hundreds of clinics and organizations across the country to provide a crucial health safety net for those who are uninsured or underinsured. And I know a lot of people fall into that underinsured category. Since 2010, RX Outreach has served over 500,000 people and helped them save more than a billion dollars on their prescription medications compared to retail costs. And if you are familiar with Needy Meds and our webinar calendar of events, you know that we regularly invite RX Outreach to present to our users. First of all, because they are such a, an enormously beneficial resource to patients, caregivers, and health providers alike. But we also share their resources because they are endlessly growing and improving the way they connect with those that are in need of assistance. I'm also sharing this because, because they're constantly growing and evolving, Please check out our upcoming calendar events. We invite them back regularly throughout the, the year. So we make sure the Needy Meds audience is one of the first group of people to be aware of new resources or improvements they've taken the time to implement. So please continue to check out our calendar events for upcoming RX outreach webinars so you can stay up to date. So that's a little bit about RX Outreach. Now let me tell you a little bit about our guest and my friend, Bill. As I said, and you can see, Bill is the Director of Marketing and Programs at RX, RX Outreach. He has worked in nonprofit organizations for over 25 years, and he has been at RX Outreach for the last eight years. So he is certainly the person um, equipped to share his expertise with RX Outreach and why they will be such an important resource to you, your loved ones, or your patients or clients. So without further ado, and hopefully seamlessly, oops, sorry guys, I jumped ahead. I'm going to go ahead and share, um, pass the screen to Bill to make sure he can share it. So bear with me while I do that. Okay. So Bill, go ahead and see if you're able to grab the screen. Perfect. Oh man, you did that so quickly, Bill. You make <laughs> me look like an amateur. Uh, <laughs> so with that, everybody, I'm going to pass the mic to Bill as well. I will mute myself. And as you see, um, my video is shut off. Um, as well, but I will be here. So again, ask questions throughout Bill's presentation. Um, if there, you have questions about needy meds throughout, you could submit them, of course, in that chat or Q&A section on your Zoom control panel. We'll do our best to answer as many as we can. And with that, I'll pass the mic to Bill. Thanks for being everybody here, everybody. Enjoy the presentation. Hello, everybody. Thanks a lot for the introduction, Carla, and for Needy Meds um, as a, a valued partner and a, an incredible um, asset for 
folks looking for affordable and free medications. So we're honored to be a partner um, and have the opportunity to, to uh, present today. So ARCS Outreach, as Carla said, is the country's largest nonprofit digital or mail order pharmacy. We serve people in all 50 states and US territories. I wanted to start off the presentation today just by by sharing a, a letter that we received, um, a I think last year, maybe two years ago now, um, and it's from one of our patients. So we send a condolence card to the family of, of uh, a patient when they, they pass. And this patient, her husband died, and she had, um, we had signed, all the staff signed a letter, sent it to her. And if you look at just the second to, to last paragraph, um, she writes, I have to tell you that you are directly responsible for a few of the extra years that we had together. There's no way we could have afforded full price for his medications. So I want to thank you very much for the affordable meds. The words on top of your prescription bottle pretty much say it all, honoring God by serving others. So we are a, a very mission-focused and, and patient-focused organization. I like to say that the point of any nonprofit should be not to exist because your problem is solved. And I'm going to tell you why we exist, um, the re real reason we exist um, in, in just a second. But I wanted just to show you too, um, we are here to make a difference. And I want to just give you some, some uh, examples here to start us off. These are some of the new medications that we added uh, last year. For, you can see the prices for glaucoma, uh, medications for glaucoma, uh, epilepsy, bipolar schizophrenia, and look at our price versus um, the retail prices. And we took these this morning, we updated them from um, GoodRx, and our prices too include shipping. So we are here to eliminate as many barriers as, as possible. These are medications that we just added last week. Um, and you can just see our, our price um, is excellent. Now we um, really specialize, I think, in the 90 and 180 day medications prices because we do carry medications for chronic conditions. But I just wanted to give you a few examples right away. We're all about transparency um, and all about eliminating barriers for, for folks. So today, um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. I want to make sure that you understand um, why we exist because that's a it's, it's an important question because it guides everything that we do. Um, and kind of the nitty gritty, what what it's about, how you or a loved one can can access uh, medication. There, are generally for these webinars, there's a range of folks. So whether you are from a, a, a doctor's office, um, a clinic, um, one of the free and charitable clinics, if you're um, an advocate or uh, an insurance company social worker, if you're a patient, if you're uh, a son or daughter, and you're suddenly managing your parents' medication, um, you know, I'm, we're glad you're here. Thank you um, for what you're doing uh, to help people be healthy and stay healthy. One of the things I want to tell you up front is we are not here to replace local pharmacies. Um, we don't carry acute medication. So if somebody has an, an earache, um, they're, they're not going to wait three days to get it mailed from us. So we work in, in conjunction as part of kind of the healthcare safety net of the of the United States. So why are we here? Well the the the, the reason we exist is what's called medication non-adherence. And it's just that simple reality that that two thirds of prescriptions that are written are not taken as prescribed. What does that mean? Well it, sometimes let's we'll start at the bottom the the uh, complexity. So maybe there's needles or inhalers or, you know, I was sick last week and I had one medication that was twice a day, one was three times a day, and I was mixing them up. My wife wasn't, was laughing at me. She said, you don't remember what you took? And I said, I'm sick. I can't remember. Um, that sometimes I was not taking my medication as it was prescribed because I, you know, fell asleep early, forgot one, et cetera. But there's also um, patient attitude. Um, sometimes people don't take their medication because they feel fine. We have a fellow I talked to a few years ago, and he had a kidney transplant, and he told me that when he was a teenager, he felt fine, and he stopped taking his medication 
um, as prescribed. He took it maybe twice a week and his body rejected the kidney. He had to get, he was fortunate to get an, an, another kidney. Um, but sometimes it's just the attitude. Other times it's environment. Um, I'm not sure where you're located today, but it's pretty cold here in the Midwest. And I think across the country, people may not want to go out in in the car. They may not have a pharmacy close by. They may not have a car, transportation barriers, um, lots of different issues. But generally, cost is one big reason why people don't take their medication um, as prescribed. That's why we exist, because we try and eliminate the transportation barriers, the cost barriers, even barriers like the embarrassment of getting a mental health med or not wanting to ask the pharmacist questions um, through a drive through or in private. We have a program that was specifically designed to eliminate those things. So our mission at RX Outreach is to create a, a nation with equitable outcomes for every person. We were started as an internal program at Express Scripts in 2004, and we broke off as a separate nonprofit in 2010. We have 31,000 square feet um, of uh, our office and our, our warehouse, and we we um, are located just outside of St. Louis in a suburb called Maryland Heights. So since we were founded in 2010, uh, we served half a million people, saved over a billion dollars for patients um, from their cost of medications. Um, and, you know, we we do hundreds of thousands of prescriptions every year um, to people, all 50 states, the U.S. territories. Um, we do not ship outside the, the United States. We are fully accredited and licensed. And this is important because a statistic is that 85% of online pharmacies are not uh, are, are not licensed. They're 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 not reliable. They're rogue, as they say. So the top row is just accreditations that we have. Um, it's a very intense, uh, a, a regulated industry. So we, you know, with our medications, um, you know, we all, we make sure our supply chain is safe, etc. Um, and then we also have just the transparency with our our finances, we are a nonprofit, a public charity, 501c3. Um, and we've asked to have two, we were honored the last uh, few years with some recognition uh, from Forbes and Money Magazine. And I just heard yesterday that Forbes chose us also as a 2024 uh, best online pharmacy. So we're, we're very happy. The 60 or so employees here, uh, we work really hard to to um, serve our patients as best we can. So RX Outreach, we carry about, it's about 65 or more um, me medications for for 65 or more chronic health conditions. So most of the, the major conditions, um, we do carry medications. We do add medications based on what people need and um, what they ask us for. And um, we do not carry insulin. Um, we haven't, we, can't carry Eliquis. That's one of the common questions we get too. Um, we, but we add stuff based on on what our patients ask us. We try to be responsive to those needs. So you can find on our website um, our full list of uh, medications, our formularies, it's called. You can search by the brand name, which most people know, uh, the uh, generic name by that that the health condition. Um, you can kind of put that in there and search, um, and all the prices that are listed do include shipping. There's no other fees at all. So there's no fees to join. Um, there's no additional fees for shipping. Um, people can pay uh, expedited shipping, um, but we, you know, our standard shipping, it reaches, um, we're here in St. Louis, so most of the, the country um, within six days, generally, I think about 90% is four days and that's four, four business days. Um, but we do, uh, the medications are, are, are particularly our controls. It's, it's tracked. Um, and we, we send a text out to someone. Um, and I can talk about that a little bit with the tracking number, et cetera. So, so just a, a couple, uh, points about us. So RX Outreach is, it is convenient. So what, what it means is that we do have that it is mail order. So directly to a patient's home or if a, a clinic, if it's one of the one of the uh, community clinics, we can also mail directly to the clinic. Um, we do not accept insurance. So somebody can have insurance, but we don't accept it. That's how we can keep our price 
um, our price is low, we can tell somebody the exact price um, and we keep it as as low as possible. Um, we are, as I said, very patient focused. So what we do is we send emails, we send, uh, we could do phone call campaigns. Um, we also do texting if you need a refill um, or if we need something with your account. So um, for example, each month I get a text from RX Outreach because I'm signed up for texting. It says, would you like to reorder this medication? And I simply reply, yes. And that what is what authorizes them to um, move the refill, to charge my card, and to, to send it out. And it's very seamless, um, especially when somebody's kind of in the system. And 70% of our phone calls are answered within 30 seconds. Now, that's our overall year number. But this time of year, the beginning of the year, first about six weeks or so, we tend to get a lot more phone calls. But don't worry, we we'll call we call everyone back. Um, you can leave a, a message or you can even hold a place in line. So RX Outreach also, and this is important, is, is sustainable and safe. So we know, particularly if you're from one of the, the uh, charitable clinics, we know that free comes first. Right, we know that Dispensary of Hope, all these uh, Americare. There's a lot of folks that are kind of in our our charitable pharmacy space. Um, and we all are our friends. We're all part of a charitable pharmacy organization and National Association of Free and Charitable Clinics. Um, but the issue is free oftentimes runs out. Or if with some of the patient assistance programs, there's a lot of paperwork. But we are sustainable. We are safe. Um, we do have some of the the um, the national shortages. So, for example, um, Adderall, generic Adderall, the past year has been at a premium. We do carry it, um, and we um, keep it listed on our website. If we do have it in in um, stock, if we don't, we've been able to. We've been very fortunate. Um, we have limited one medication just to that the um, one of the medications to some of our telehealth partners. Um, just because we want to make sure that their patients have that medication and are able to get it. So we're not accepting new patients for that, but all the existing patients for the one med medication um, will can get that. We also have the state-of-the-art technology. We Because we were founded by Express Scripts, we have kind of that corporate efficiency, um, but of course with the charitable heart. So every bottle is weighed. We take a picture of it. So if somebody... Um, wonders, hey, you know, I, I didn't get my right medication and we can we can look it up. Sometimes the manufacturers change it um, and change the, the medication. We let patients know, but we always have kind of that proof and we have every phone call recorded. We have kind of the top notch security um, and we have it fitting then a 99.99% accuracy rate, which is higher than kind of the, the uh, rest of the pharma, pharma world with the uh, retail particularly. And I wanted just to highlight two organizations. We, as I mentioned, are kind of part of this healthcare safety net. So Unitas is, if you're in um, aware of the 211, United Way 211, we are listed on Unitas. So you can find us there as a medication resource. And it was a few years ago, I think three years ago now, maybe before, that the Hepatitis B Foundation reached out to us after one of the these needy meds webinars. And they said, hey, 20% of our phone calls have been about medications and the cost. Is it possible that you can add a few of these meds to your formulary? So we looked at it and sure enough, we could add them and they let their folks know. And then we got some donations and grants as a nonprofit, we, we do fundraising. And we were able to give all their patients, hundreds, um, medication for free, absolutely no cost. Um, and we continue that through the beginning or the end of last year. Um, and we just needed to, we, we couldn't continue to sustain it without some donations and such, but um, it was wonderful. So for two or three years, folks got it. We love partnerships like that, that, that are benefit um, those in need. So previously we did have income guidelines. So someone could qualify for our program if they were 400% of the federal poverty level. Now this is, these are last year's numbers because the new ones aren't um, out for 2024. But we decided based on inflation, based on statistics of how many people are in need of, of medications, um, not to have this as a barrier. 
So anyone who needs medication can use our program. We do, however, do kind of a, a an audit once a year. We kind of have a soft credit check. We look at social determinants of health for our patients um, and just to maintain the integrity of our program. But we are no longer asking patients for their income. I think about 70% of patients, U.S. citizens, um, Americans qualify for our program. So we, we don't want that to be a barrier. So just a few other things before we get into kind of the how to enroll. Um, when to consider it. If a person is spending their own money um, or exhausted all the options for free or affordable meds. So, you know, someone like my, um, my mom is retired. She's on a fixed income. Um, and she was spending so much money in the, in the co-pays um, that she found it was less expensive to go through us. So she doesn't use her insurance, but she saves $100 a month on her medications by going to our outreach. And on a snowy day, um, she's especially happy that it's delivered. So if somebody doesn't qualify for one of the other programs, as I mentioned, insured, but the co-pays are too high. That's, as Carla mentioned, that's really a lot of our folks now. It's just cost prohibitive. Um, if someone's undocumented, um, we welcome them. We still need a documentation if it is one of the controlled um, substances, but um, we we serve people regardless of their immigration or insurance status. If somebody has multiple meds, they have those transportation barriers, the pharmacy may not have what they need. And then this is an important one. If somebody wants simplicity. So, you know, we know there's so many discount cards out there, programs, et cetera, hidden fees. Um, even, you know, one of the the new big national pharmacies, they kind of sneak an extra $5 in at the end. Um, the price you see on our website, um, is is it there's there's nothing else there's no other hidden fees or anything like that so it's really nice where we really help people as i said the most is on the 90 and 180 day prescriptions um and that that's where we really save them the, the most amount of money so a person can how do how do you sign up for it so a person can sign up through our website there's a sign up sign in button at the top you just create a password um, your email you enter some information, um, payment information, and um, you can actually request prescriptions through the portal. So you could, add, so we will reach out to your doctor and get it. Other people are a little more proactive and they actually send, um, they just ask the doctor to send the prescription, e-scribe it um, to us. And if, if you, if that's the route, if we carry your medication and that's what you do, um, or if you're from a clinic and you just send somebody's um, prescription over, um, we will then create the account for them and reach out to them about, um, you know, the details. Um, one of the things in the portal, too, is that you can do your preferences um, a lot, particularly the younger people. They just like the texting. They don't want to get the, the phone calls. They don't want to talk to anybody. So you can just get texting. So a person can also enroll just by calling us. Um, we you can see our hours here we're located in central time we are also open on on saturdays and of course you can always manage your account through the portal um, and lastly um, you can go on our website there's a, a page called patient forms and you can download a fillable pdf or one that's just printable and and you could if you're serving uh or you know social worker in that setting you can download it and complete it for the person um, and then either send it in or mail it in. Um, so just a few different options. And I just wanted to show just a few, uh, just to show you how easy it is for the portal. So you can see, you know, we have to ask for allergies and a, a few things, but you can actually request your transfer from the doctor's office or from another pharmacy. Um, and we'll, we'll take care of that for you. Um, you can upload an ID if, if necessary. Um, so, so it's pretty, it's pretty convenient. So let me just tell you about a few of our other programs. Um, so if you are from a clinic or even a doctor's office and you're sending um, patients here, you're referring patients, um, we can actually help you even more. What we can do is um, there's a, a clinic portal and I'll, and I'll show you that where you can kind of manage your patients. One model is that the clinic pays for the medication. So you just, any prescription that you and your team send in, we fill, send it to the person or the facility, um, 
and then we just invoice you at the end of the month. The next is the tier two, which um, is that you send in the prescription and we reach out to the patient for payment information. And lastly, um, you know, both of these, there is the only discount that we offer is the 5% off for our, um, for the, for certain of our preferred partners. Um, and that's the free and charitable clinics um, in particular, or the organizations that serve the exclusively the low income folks. Um, so, but we can help out with um, reports for grants and things like that. We have a dedicated team uh, that serves our, our our preferred partners. And you can see, you can see kind of the history of, of all your folks. Um, you can order the refills and everything for, for them. So we, we also have a program called Serving Those Who Serve Others, and it's really just pharmacy benefits. This is um, a lot of organizations. They don't offer uh, very robust uh, benefits um, or even benefits at all for volunteers or part-time workers. <laughs> and so we're happy to welcome them through this program. And it kind of allows us um, to work with companies, <laughs> excuse me, that may have a lot of part-time employees and it helps them to retain employees by um, it also with, it helps them uh, to keep, helps their employees and their staff to stay healthy. Um, again, that medication non-adherence is, is a challenge. We do have a program too that I'm very proud of called our Healthy Reentry Program. Um, and what we do is when it's, it, the, the issue with this is that when people come out of prison, um, generally, they receive between seven and 30 days of meds, and it's not enough time for them to get to a doctor, a clinic, and have a continuity of care. So we piloted this program in St. Louis, I think, when I first started here set eight years ago. Um, we eventually expanded it through grant funding to um, the entire state of Missouri, and it was proven so successful for reducing recidivism, that's the rate that people return to prison, um, that the state adopted it. So now everyone's doing that, receiving that 90 days of medication. So 30 when they walk out and then 60 from us. Um, and um, we're doing it now, right now in, in Alabama, Wyoming, there's some jails that are using it. Um, but half the people in the program receive mental health meds. So that's that chart pie chart there is really the percentage, but half of the participants receive mental health meds. So it's also really a public safety issue um, that it really, we don't want somebody getting off their, their, you know, uh, mental health meds um, and trying to get a job and integrate back to, to society. And so we're very proud of, of this program. And, and um, you know, we, we hope that it's uh this is a pretty vulnerable population and it's just proven to work, which the state, here in Missouri said, you know, you keep five people out of prison and it's a hundred thousand dollars in taxpayer money. Um, so they're kind of seeing the, the logic of it, but I want to, uh, just encourage you to, to sign up for our monthly newsletter. Um, this, we have kind of our, it's once a month and there's a provider version and a patient version. So you can sign up for whichever you'd like, but what we include on this, and it's kind of, I think the reason why our open rate is so high um, is that we include our free meds. So most of our medications do cost money. However, we always have free meds and this is completely free. And this is thanks to our pharma donations and, and grants we receive. So you can see, this is the list I, that was, we just updated on Friday morning or, um, Monday, Tuesday morning, and um, you can see it. This is list for bipolar, uh, medication, blood pressure, asthma. You can see a, a lot. So we we always keep these um, f about twenty, at least twenty medications free. And again, it's completely free for the person. There's no other hidden fees. So that is the end of my presentation, and I'm happy to answer any any questions. Um, or hear any comments, but thank you, as I mentioned, for all that, that you're doing. Um, I know that I talk to a lot of our patients and, you know, uh, and, and I hear their stories, what people are going through, whether it's between jobs um, or if they're particularly caretakers. One of, uh, one of the stories that I know Carla likes because it, it really is impactful is a, a retired teacher who was caring for her husband in rural Virginia. They kind of had a, a farm and, I, and she was getting arthritis medications from through us. And 
she said, if it wasn't for you guys, I, I could not take care of my husband and we'd have to move into a nursing home. And she says, this is our, this is our, our home. This is where we've lived um, for the last 45 years. And she said, so thank you for having that medication. We know that people are struggling. So thank you for your attendance here today. Um, and thank you for all you're doing to help spread the word about a medication resource like RX Outreach. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bill, for that not surprisingly very thorough explanation of what RX Outreach is and why it's so helpful to patients, caregivers, clients, and did I say caregivers already? Because it is super important. So bear with me, guys. As you could see, I'm a little distracted trying to just make sure I pull up my correct um, slide show. So let me know. Can you guys see that, Bill? Is that looking okay? Looks It looks great to me. Perfect. Yep. Great. Oh, and thanks for everybody for confirming that you can see my screen as well. So um, as you can see by uh, my friend Bill's presentation, this is why we are regularly welcoming RX Outreach back. And Bill, thank you for sharing that personal story. That's my favorite part. Um, often of your presentations, in addition to finding out uh, what other updates and new resources RX Outreach has implemented. I like to hear the personal stories because, um, as Bill knows, sometimes when you're working in the office, um, it's just a reminder of uh, the difference that we can make in people's lives and what a what a far reaching impact it has had. And I, I love that story you just shared because I think it demonstrates that perfectly. Um, as promised, we are going to take some time to get to some questions. I do see a bunch that already came in. Um, again, you could submit those in any way that's convenient. You can put them into the type them into the Q and A or into the chat sections on that Zoom control panel. So let's get to those questions coming that came in already. And as we, um, before we do, I should mention that I want to remind everybody that what you're looking at on your screen is um, just a list of all of the healthcare savings resources Needy Meds offers. Just as a reminder that we are here to help you as well, you can find all of those healthcare savings resources under the aptly named Healthcare Savings tab on NeedyMeds.org. But of course, you can also reach out to one of our expert call center counselors. If you also continue to check out our webinar calendar events, which I hope you do, as I said, we will, we always invite RX Outreach to do presentations continually throughout the year to make sure needy meds users are the first one of the first populations of people that are up to date with what rx outreach has been up to um, but we also pack that calendar of webinars with um, presentations about needy meds and the resources we have so check that out and take some time when when you can fit it into your schedule to join us either for an overview webinar, which is about a half hour, or other shorter webinars that can be maybe 10, 10 minutes long that do a deep dive into specifically some of those healthcare savings resources we offer. As promised, there is the contact information, um, and that's perfect time because I see as I was um, just chatting away right now, we did get a a request from an audience member to talk about um, the website um, for RX Outreach, I believe. So right on your screen, you can see their website is rxoutreach.org and the Needy Meds website and contact information is at the bottom of the screen. So let's get to some of those questions coming in. The first one and Bill, this comes in, I think, every time we do a presentation, but it's important for you to have the opportunity to address this. The question is, can I use RX Outreach if I have insurance? Absolutely. Um, you're welcome to use RX Outreach. We can't accept the insurance, but you're certainly welcome to to use it uh, or to, to get your medications through us. I know my mom was worried about that when she started with us. Um, it also took me some convincing because I said, why are you still 
going to the pharmacy if you're so frustrated with them, the local one. And she said, well, I can make two right turns, one to get in and one to get out. Um, and then she asked me also if it was safe to get drugs through the mail. So uh, yes, to answer your question, it is safe and it is okay to have insurance. Um, I just, I like to share my mom's funny, uh, funny questions. I've worked, I worked here for, I think for five years at the time before she, before she changed <laughs> over. I love that story. I have a similar one about my mom. Needy Meds um, has a drug discount card and, um, you know, there are other drug discount cards out there, of course, but I was encouraging my mom to use our drug discount card because the medication she needed to pick up was not covered by insurance. And I'm, I gave her one of the things we can do. You can find this out on our website. You can call one of our expert call center counselors. We can let you know not only where you could pick up your medication using the drug discount card, but also how much it will cost you using the drug discount card. And I made the huge mistake of saying to my mom, not saying to my mom that it was um, an estimate. And although it was a close estimate, it was an estimate. Needless to say, my mom saved about $150 on her medication prescription, but it was off by just, I think it was three or four cents. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't ever forget that when I share that we will inform you about how much your medication will cost using our drug discount card. I am very careful to say that the estimated estimated cost. So Bill and I, moms are keeping us in line. So thank you for that, Bill. Yeah, and Carla, you know, it's, that's a great point too, is that, you know, one thing is I always encourage everyone, regardless of insurance or not, to shop around. Um, right. I mean, it is absolutely crucial. We would love to be on GoodRx. Um, we just, it's just cost prohibitive for us. Um, and we'd have to raise the price of our medications. So that's why the word of mouth is so crucial. But, you know, I remember I was at a, a local pharmacy to Walgreens and, you know, they said, oh, it's not going to be on your insurance. And then you kind of hold your breath waiting to find out how much it's going to cost. And I said, well, let me think about it a second. I stepped aside. I went to GoodRx and I found it at the supermarket for it was $70 and then it was $7. So it was wow. a $63 difference. Incredible. One stoplight away for the exact same medication. So definitely shop around. Absolutely. And while you were speaking, Bill, you actually addressed another question that an audience member asked, which is, is RX outreach on good RX? So you addressed that. Thank you for that. And, you know, it really is important. And Bill and I are you know, joking around about our moms. But the truth is also, it is important to ask those questions because you should know what to expect and you should feel comfortable making the choice. Um, you, you know, as Bill shared, his mom wasn't sure about online pharmacies. In all fairness, that's that valid. My mom really, as much as I tease her that I was a few cents off, she wanted to make sure that the information I was giving her was still valid. So it really is important to ask whatever question you need to ask to make yourself comfortable, of course. And thank you for getting to that question about good RX. And Bill, you also made a really important point, which is that we do the same thing here at Needy Meds. We mirror that sentiment of shop around. Um, the best thing our patients and caregivers can do for themselves and their loved ones is to be educated and empowered when they're making the choices that they make. And we want to make sure that includes what they're paying for their healthcare expenses, specifically medications. Of course, needy meds, um, something that we've had to face, which is very upsetting. We cannot be the solution to everyone's problems, although we wish we could. So that why we partner with organizations such as RX Outreach, and we will all tell you, continue to shop around. What we ask at Needy Meds is if you do find a great cost savings resource that we're not familiar with that, with yet, please let us know. Um, you can do that really quickly by dropping me an email at carla at needymeds.org, reaching out to our call center counselors, because we'd love to share that resource with other individuals and families in need. So thanks for that, Bill. And another question that came in, and again, um, we've been doing these webinars for a while together, and I feel like this is another question that comes in regularly and important to drive home the answer, which is clarify bill for our audience. How much does RX outreach cost? 
Sure. The only cost is the price of the medication, and that is listed on our website. So there's no other hidden fees. Um, you know, one of the things, too, that folks like about us is that they can um, also always talk to a pharmacist, whether it's about the medication that that we carry or another medication um, they're, from the privacy of their, their own home. Um, they can they can always do that, too. So there's we we try to be as transparent as possible. Um, so the price you see kind of what you see is what you get uh, with us. So important. And I know that that's a hard thing for people to almost accept. We get the same thing here at Needy Meds that to connect with Needy Meds to be referred to healthcare cost savings to get our drug discount card. Everything we offer is free and anonymous. So you don't have to share any identifying information to get yourself, your loved ones, your patients, or your clients um, healthcare cost savings resources. Now, Bill, you and I were chatting yesterday. Yesterday, we everybody um, with all transparency, we always do a practice webinar to make sure the logistics go smoothly. Um, and one of the things Bill and I talked about, and I just jotted this down, was and did you? I don't know if you wanted to mention this or you already addressed it. Uh, the medication free list. Yes, so we, okay. I, that's listed, and I I'll I'll tell you too that um, we do send that out in the newsletter. Um, okay. And but if you you also can see it on our website, so you can kind of see which ones you can put dollar sign zero into the search bar and see what we have available um, for free at any given time. So um, and, and again, it's it's completely, completely free. It's thanks to some of our um, partners in the in the pharma industry that that donate medications to us and these aren't we don't do short dated medications or anything like that it's um all medications from reliable medication resources we're part of a a group called the partnership for safe medications that um i think they have some presentations here uh on on needy meds um and it's just to make sure that these are all reliable medications that they're effective that everything's um approved so um, we actually had a, a visit, uh, an inspection from the the DEA this summer, and we were got a great score. In fact, um, I wanted something for marketing, and they said, "Oh no, you only get paperwork or anything if if you weren't great." So, um, <laughs> so we were so perfect, um, and we also were, you know, we report to all fifty states daily. We've had visits from boards of pharmacies from different states. I mean, we're, we're highly regulated. So that's why we have to make sure everything is uh, on the up and up for our, for our patients. You know, I will say when I first became familiar with the RX outreach, I was shocked at the level of oversight that was re required. Um, and this again, perfectly segues into yet another question that came in from an audience member. And again, question um, I, certainly comes up in a lot of our RX outreach webinars. And we're going to wrap it up with this question, everybody, because as I said, I do like to keep the question segment brief. But again, if you ask a question and we're not getting the chance to answer it, we will follow up with you, either Bill or myself or, or a team member from RX Outreach or Needy Meds will follow up with you as soon as we can. If you need a more um, effective response, don't hesitate to uh, visit our websites and also reach out to the toll-free um, numbers on your screen. So the question we're going to wrap up with, and again, this is one I've heard Bill answer a number of times, but it's really important. And then we were talking a little bit about our oversight. So I, uh, RX Outreach is uh, required oversight. I think this segues perfectly into that, which is where exactly does RX Outreach get their medications from and are they all safe? Sure. And it, again, it's a great question because it's a huge issue. Um, so we have um, our uh, GPO. So we, we basically buy our medications directly from the manufacturers. Um, and we have the same buying power thanks to um, our origins as um, a part of Express Scripts. We have the same buying powers all the other pharmacies, um, the big the big pharmacies in the United States. We just keep our our price is low by keeping our costs as low as possible. Um, I'm the only the only marketing person here and I wear about five other hats too. And I know Carla, they do, you know, as a nonprofit, we really um, try and kind of keep things as low as possible. Um, you know, I, I did see in the 
the Q and A that someone asked about insulin. We would love to add insulin, but we can't. We can't get the price down with the shipping because it has to be cold shipped. Um, now, the good news for that is that there are a lot. Uh, the prices are coming down for um, the insulin for a lot of a lot of the manufacturers. So be sure to look into that. That should be kicking in. Um, this first quarter of of this year, so definitely definitely ask. Um, but it's just one of those things that we can't do. We we can't do. We we we'd love to add more brand medications, but we just it just doesn't fit into our model. Um, we try to we try to get some donated, but um, you know that's why we primarily do the generics. I'm so glad you had a chance to answer that question as as well, Bill. Thank you so much. And again, um, if you are having difficulty affording brand name medications, reach out to Needy Meds. Um, in addition to our drug discount card, we all we do have about 450 patient assistance programs listed, and those are programs that are usually supported by pharmaceutical companies and offer very discounted, mostly free prescription drugs, usually name brand to those that qualify. So reach out to us if you're having difficulty connecting with a resource that will help you to save on those brand name medications. So with that, I want to extend again a big thank you to our attendees for taking time out of their day to join us for the RX Outreach Making Medications Affordable webinar. I'm confident you found it useful. And what would be helpful is if you did, share the, at the um, and you don't have to share the entire presentation, but we do convert our webinars into videos and upload them onto the Needy Meds YouTube channel. However, you can simply mention to those that you believe would find um, looking for cost savings, options for their medications, just let them know about RX Outreach, because as you saw today, they're a fantastic and uh, reliable, safe, and one-of-a-kind resource. So, Bill, thank you also for sharing your expertise with the Needy Meds audience. My friend, of course, Bill, great to see you. And thank thanks, you. everybody. We hope to see your name and faces pop up in future Needy Meds webinars. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a happy and healthy rest of the week. Take good care. Thank, thank you. you.